I'm Jay Holbin. I'm a director, producer, a former cinematographer. Uh, I'm an associate member of the American Society of Cinematographers, and I'm a chair of the ASC's Motion Imaging Technology Council's Lens Committee. Basically, I'm a lens nerd, and that's why I'm here today. They have a chance to try out the new Atlas Orion Silver Edition lenses. For me, growing up as a kid, uh, the films that really set the language of film for me were, were films like Star Wars and Blade Runner and Close Encounters and Raiders of the Lost Ark, films that were all anamorphic. And even before I really understood what that was, I knew that there was something special about anamorphic lenses. In my career as a cinematographer, I mostly shot 35 millimeter film, and I mostly shot with Panavision cameras, but I almost never got to shoot anamorphic. And the reason for that was, there just wasn't that many anamorphic lenses, and most of them went to the big shows. So working in independent films, I very rarely ever got to shoot anamorphic. Something happened in 2017, and that was the introduction of the Atlas Orion anamorphic lenses. I was blown away that this little company had come up with beautiful mechanical operation and beautiful optical design at an unbelievable price. And Atlas delivered an incredible series of lenses that I really kind of hate to use this term, but disrupted the film industry and changed the way that people look at anamorphic lenses. Now, in the late 90s, there were lenses like the Kao lenses or the JDC Crystal Expresses, but they were still sort of a limited thing. And now, Atlas has helped to democratize. They've stepped up with these affordable series of lenses that are beautiful and have caused all of the other large manufacturers to really take notice. So when Atlas came to me and said they had something new, I was super excited to see what this was. The Atlas Orion Silver Edition series. It's a limited run of special edition precision tuned Orion lenses that have brand new coatings on every element that cause the lenses to flare more and quite uniquely. So to put these new series of lenses through their paces, I brought in cinematographer Katie Williams to shoot a series of intensive tests with me. Katie photographed standard lens tests with model Becca Adams to examine the lens's contrast, resolution, edge-to-edge -edge performance, bokeh, focus breathing, and flare quality on both the original series and the new silver editions. I then wrote a short narrative scene right out of the classic 80s and 90s sci-fi adventures that I grew up on that would incorporate elements for Katie to really tax the lenses and push their capabilities to demonstrate the beautiful characteristics of this new series of anamorphics. When we reach for anamorphic lenses, part of what we're looking for in the language of that lens is the flare quality. There's a lot of things that differentiate anamorphic from a spherical lens. Disproportionate magnification, focus breathing, the elliptical bokeh, but certainly flare quality is something that everybody reaches at to anamorphic lenses for. And these silver editions could be called the special flares or the super flare. These things just flare like nobody's business. The flare quality is beautiful. They have a, a, a kind of a vintage bend to the flare quality, which is nice. Plus, this incredibly neutral silver flare. When you hit it with a neutral light source, it takes on a really clean, almost no coloration to it whatsoever flare. And then if you start to add some coloration to your light, that flare takes that bias to that color beautifully. To really put the flare quality to the test, Katie brought in two different light sources, one at 8,500 Kelvin and one at 2,800 Kelvin. Here on the original series Orion lenses, with a camera set at a 3,200 Kelvin white balance, we see that we have a moderately neutral flare off of the 2,800 Kelvin light source. And off that 8,500 cool source, we get that beautiful blue streak that everybody loves from anamorphic lenses. When we switch the white balance of the camera to 8500 Kelvin, we see that we still get that blue streak flare out of the 8500 Kelvin cooler light source, and we get a warmer flare out of that lower 2800 Kelvin source, but both sources still have color to them. 
Looking side by side here on the original series of Ryan lenses, we see that we still get that blue streak flare and the warm, no matter what color balance the camera set to, still gets us a little bit of that warm coloration to the flare. With the Silver Edition series, we're seeing something very different. Here with the camera set at a 3200 Kelvin white balance, we see that lower temperature light source gives us an almost neutral silverish flare and we get that beautiful blue streak from the cooler temperature. When we switch the white balance of the camera to 8500 Kelvin, we see something very different. That cool 8500 Kelvin light source becomes a perfectly neutral silver highlight and flare. It's a beautiful neutrality to it, and it shows us that we really have the ability to custom dial the coloration of flare with this new series of lenses and their coatings. Looking at them side by side, we see on the left, the white balance of the camera at 3200, and on the right, the white balance of the camera at 8500, and you can see you can really control the color of your flare. This is something that's very unique to the Orion Silver Edition series as a cinematographer or as a director, I'm looking for character in that lens. I don't necessarily want a perfect optical performance. I want something that has some aberrations to it and some feeling of character to it. I actually want to see some spherical aberration. I like a little bit of chromatic aberration and even a little coma, especially if it's you know deep in the background or, or just shaping that bouquet to something that's a little bit different. The Orions have a beautiful ability to control that aberration. So it, as is true with most lenses, that if you shoot them wide open, you're going to see a lot more character than you would if you stopped down a little bit. And that's absolutely true of the Orions. When you shoot at a 2, which is a wonderful speed for an anamorphic lens, you've got some great character in there. And if you want to clean it up a little bit, you stop down about a stop to a stop and a half, and you wind up cleaning up a lot of those aberrations, and you have that option. So you can dial the character as much as you want within a small range of aperture, which is a really nice ability. Here we're gonna look at the performance of the Silver Edition lenses from the center of the frame to the very far left edge. And this is somewhere where a lot of lenses fall apart, especially anamorphic lenses. But what we'll see is that the Orion series really hold their performance edge to edge. The top row of images is all from the center of each focal length, and the bottom row is from the far left edge. And we'll see that we don't lose a lot of sharpness, we don't lose a lot of contrast, and for the most part, the anamorphic compression stays pretty uniform edge to edge. I also love the close focus ability of the Orions. The fact that I don't have to always go to a diopter, as you do with a lot of older anamorphic lenses, is something that's really nice. And we're gonna push that close focus in the piece that you're gonna see here. From the moment you walked in, into the barracks and you had that, that stupid look on your face. I knew I loved you. Another aspect of the Atlas Orion Silver Editions is a refined optical precision. So they have limited the tolerances or, or reduced the manufacturing tolerances in these reserve edition lenses that allow for a different and more elegant fall off to the focus. So in the transition of focus, the roll off or the focus through, you're getting more of an elegant transition, which is really beautiful on these lenses. So it's really been a fantastic pleasure to get a chance to work with these Silver Edition Atlas Orions. I know you guys out there, you anamorphic lovers, are going to love these things. You're going to love to play with them. Get your hands on them. They're a limited edition. There's only 100 sets of these that are going to be available, so you've got to snag them quick. I'm Jay Holbin. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you somewhere on set.